What up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with more Bleach. Today we're doing episodes 41 through 44. Super excited, but also insanely nervous about everything going on. We're having some crazy power-ups, some crazy fights, but people are going down. Chad and Ichigo do not look too hot right now. Um, hopefully that can change, but remember, if you guys want early access up to 16 episodes, as well as the full uncut versions of these, check out the Patreon. Links are down below, like always. We're live watching these reactions live with chat. It's always a vibe, I'm telling you. So come on over to the Twitch, twitch.tv slash Darius, and hang out. Such a great time. Uh, and if you guys could, I appreciate a follow on my social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. You guys are incredible. I'm not going to waste any more time. Bleach, episode 41. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Episode 41. Ganju and Hanataro are going to decide who's going to fight. Oh, we got a little secret hideout. Well, that's handy. We can heal Ichigo. Got to decide who's going to fight Byakuya. I still don't know what Mr. Yoru Yoruichi did when he said, I'm not going to let you die. He, like, did something with spirit energy. I love cats, man. They're so cute. Half of your organs were crushed? If this the mask Loki saved his life, he didn't even realize he had that on him. Yeah, they said the same thing. Hanataro did not want that. So Hanataro actually got rid of it, and it still somehow appeared on Ichigo to save him versus Kenpachi. Kind of like the prism from Baldur's Gate, you know? And no matter what, it just appears back with us. That gets me interesting that there's something deeper about that. Hey, okay, Mr. Yoroishi, whatever you say. Yeah, that's a good question. What would that be? Do you mind showing me? He's like, wait, you're not a cat? Do you mind showing me? Please let me see. Is he like actually like a, a panther? A tiger? A big cat? Oh, he's a dude. He's like an Animagus from uh, Harry Potter. He's a woman! I'm like Ichigo. I want to pause it before we go forward. I just can't look at... I can't... I can't... I gotta start calling him her now. I can't look at... Mr. I can't call him Mr. Yoruichi anymore. God damn. Man, she's a black woman. Yoruichi. If you need some milk, you know what I'm saying? Whoa, I know cats like milk. I need to know much more about her now. Oh, they feel Byakuya's pressure? Or whose pressure is that? Yeah. Bro, you cannot... You are still injured. Oh, that's actually sick as hell. I wonder it's a rare and valuable artifact. No hesitation. Spirit spirit energy, he's it's he's off. I got mad respect for Ganju for realizing how outclassed he is and he's still running in. The Loki That was crazy. Also, kind of a bar. My sword is not meant for killing vermin like you. Like, you're literally beneath us. We still got our right arm. Oh, 
He realizes. He realizes the Shiba clans aren't nobodies, aren't vermin, you know. We have some great warriors. Oh my god, this shot is incredible. I have goosebumps right now. Oh my god. What is with Byakuya Zanpak Do? Ganju better not die. Are they cherry blossoms? It's Captain 13. Uki Take. Don't tell me Ichigo was flying in and they're saying that. There's no shot. I got goosebumps right now. <laughs> As the music comes in. Oh, hell no. Oh, this is about to get crazy. We finally get to see Rukia. That is a crazy cool artifact. Didn't even say hi to her. We got bigger things we got to deal with right now. Wow, he's a real one. She is, her emotions right now are so complex. She's, she's insanely happy you came for her. But she's also deathly scared of Byakuya. She still does feel guilty about what she's done. Like, this is actual real deal crazy. She really did not think she would see him again after that. But right now, let me deal with this. Oh, hell no. I'd love to see it. Great shot, great block. Yakuya is shocked that we did that. Is he gonna awaken his uh, Zanpakuto scatter? In a thousand years. Thousand year blood work. Blood. He's doing his Zanpakuto. Ooh, ooh. Oh, Yoruichi? Missy, Missy? Yakuya boy? Let me give me some details. Who is she? How does she relate to the Soul Reapers? Oh, you dirty scumbags. You dirty scumbags. All right. This is the next episode. This is 42. We got my boy Renji cuffed, getting healed. So horrible. What sort of baboons? Snake tail is that? Oh, it's the spirit of his Zanpak Do, Zabi Mar. Oh, that's so cool. I was wondering if more Soul Reapers can talk to their spirits. Oh, that's so sick. Zabi Mar was a chimp or a baboon with a snake's tail. And the swords themselves want to fight other swords, get revenge. That's so sick. And they have their own personal properties of healing. I love that. The world building in this shit is crazy. We're on the same page. We want to save Rukia. That's sick. That's sick. Episode 42. Here we go. She's got to be an old head, you know? I've heard that name before. Give me more details. Supreme of the Stealth Force. First Division Punishment Force. Oh. Over a hundred years? Makes more sense why she was the Supreme Commander of the Stealth Force. She is really stealthy.
You're just doing that to get us out of here? You're known for your speed, Byakuya, but even you're, you're nothing compared to Yoruichi. Oh, that flash step is crazy. <laughs> I love the way they animate speed in this. She's so elegant with hers, too. She's graceful. He's gotten much better since the last time they played tag. Ooh. Talk your shit, beautiful. We got another mini training arc about to happen. Give chase if you wish. You're not gonna catch me. Flash Master Yoruichi is a fire nickname. She could flash me in any way she wants, and I'll be a happy camper. God damn. God damn. Okay, Ukitake. Bro, these episodes are going crazy. Ruki is like me. I'm like, I'm exhausted from just watching this. I like how a lot of the squads are very different from each other in terms of not like there can be antagonistic towards each other but members of certain squads i don't want to pause it because i don't want to miss anything but i do i love that aspect how squad one i'm just saying numbers for fake examples might not like squad 10 squad 2 might not like squad 11 but the members of that squad will always respect their higher ups and the people in their squad like ikaku loves kenpachi kira will defend uh ichimaru no matter what like they obviously love uti uh ukitake like it's very interesting renji a little bit different with byakuya but he still definitely madly respects him you know and i really like that aspect they might not all get together with different other squads but within their own squad they all fuck with that's the actually the weird thing about it and I get that reasoning you can't kill us because the potential of gathering information about that. But we know nothing about that. Like, genuinely, that's all you guys. So, I respect that from uh, Ukitake. I really do. At the end of the day, we were trying to save one of his people. Oh, Kurotsuchi, you weirdo. That's kind of a cool can technique or cool camouflage, whatever that is. I don't like the way your eyes just move like that. So we're back in our little hidey hole. We got each shield there. We're going to make him stronger over the next three days. A couple hundred flash steps is insane, though. Flash step master Yoruishi, fire name. I get why you'd be upset and assume that, but they're going to be fine, thankfully. And she's, she's the realist here, you know? Like, she's leagues stronger than us. If she's saying it, then... You could do it. We just got to get you right, you know? And Ukitake's, uh, Ukitake's uh, strong sense of duty. He's a rational man. She made the right call. We'll go back in three days. You'll be ready to go. W plan. W plan. First outsider, okay. So this is like a real deal hiding spot for her. Kind of like Kenpachi's. Like it's not one that has a form and then you awaken it, you know? Mm -hmm. I like that name, Constant Release. We have a second release? What would that be? All Zanpakuto have two stages? Of course they do. 
My first time hearing Bankai? Oh, no, Suri. No, Suri. Bankai. I did not realize Bankai was going to be the second form release. He's, of course, he'd be the only one. Oh. <laughs> that gets me way too excited. And you're going to teach me how to do it in three days. Oh, this shit's about to get crazy. Yoruichi. She is my queen, I tell you. A goddamn beautiful woman. Here we go. This is episode 43. What is she currently doing? Oh, they're healing Tsubaki. Yeah. He got fucked up by... Was it Jirobo was his name? I like that. You need to retain a strong determination and will. Shout out, Tsubaki. That is quite the title card. Bleach 43. Yeah, she's much more of a support, but she's a goaded support. Even if that's 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 the downside. I mean, I respect it. I love it, but drunk, drunk man. Hmm, that's unfortunate. He knows. Just random other soul reapers helping us out. Well, shout out random guys. That's why I said I don't I'm cool with uh the squads beefing with other squads, but I love how inside the squads they love each other, you know. Like squad twelve always gotta look out for each other, you know. Yeah, it is a little sussy. Maybe I'm the one getting fooled here. Maybe this is some Kurotsuchi stuff. He used them as bait and then blew them all up? Oh my god. Orihime is protecting these guys who technically tried to get over on us, but nah, she's protecting us. Man, that's crazy. Kuro Tsushi is wild. Kuro Tsushi just blew up his own men. That is right, she shouldn't, but that is insane. I'm saying. Another squad captain confrontation. Yeah, I'll be anything but that. Because she feels bad for him. They just got blown to smithereens. This is some real... Showing the character of Orihime, you know? She's just a loving, good-hearted person overall. doesn't matter who you are. He should have put this man down. Oh, that's deranged. Second chief of research and development, Uro Tsushi. Oh no. Uro Tsushi seems like the type to not give a shit, so he will blow up anyone and anybody. Even his own people. All right, Frankie, chill out. Great shot. 
Did I say you could run? Did I say you could go after him? Talk your shit, Ishida. Is that an entirely fake arm? He gives me such Orochimaru vibes. Oh, so he's got some crazy abilities, whatever we want to say. Ishida is him right now. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice Kurotsuchi up there. An advanced Quincy move. So it's the Quincy's version of Flash Step. Here we get to see his unfuck though. What sort of Zanpakuto is that? Very interesting design. Emu's willing to get in front of him and tank that? He's using her to immobilize Ishida and cut through both of them? That's the craziest tag team pairing whatever I've ever fucking... What the fuck? That's probably her job is put her body on the line for him whatever. Oh, hell no. Ah, uh, nah. Kuro Tsuchi's my least favorite captain by far right now. Even over Byakuya. She's over here with a sliced up lungs having issues breathing. You know he's damn sure not gonna give her any heals. Oh nah. Yeah, can I like talk to Yamamoto and request a different captain? Or can we get him revoked from being captain? Like what this dude has issues. In which I created? What does that mean? saying you really think my projects are so weak how i decide to use this thing is none of your business robs the mobility that's a decent ability i won't lie so you can still feel pain very much so in the limbs you just can't move it that's deranged but perfect ability for him this guy is deranged oh he's pushing some crazy buttons yeah this dude you're talking about our grandfather oh hell no nah yeah mm. nah no shot we are gonna have to whoop your ass my man that might be the craziest thing to show a picture of Ishida too. Like, what? Like, nah. That is wild. Were <laughs> you Ishida? Legendary man, legendary Quincy. Fuck your shit, my boy. I'm right there with you. Kuro Tsuchi needs to die. Oh. I can hear Frieza's voice so much. Oh, that is a fire way to end it. Oh, my lord. All right, this is right where we left off. This is last episode of the session. This is episode 44. I love that title screen. Shout out. My boy Ishida is looking wild. Ranso Ten guy. 
Like the strings of a puppet. Ooh, I like the way they animate that. Until one's body turns to dust is crazy. I would say so. Have my will to fight. Well, I love hearing his grandpa say that while well, Ishida's about to go crazy. Mm, that's what he was training with. Oh. Yeah, you will have issues, buddy. The sickle in the ear. Yep, this is when uh, Chad and uh, Orihime were first gassing him to train. And he said, I'm going to do it on my own. Rishi Glove. The pinnacle of the Quincy powers. You must never remove this glove. So it's like the ultimate last call, last stand, ultimate move. Something tells me at some point he's going to take that glove off and it's going to get crazy. And what Kurotsuchi did to your grandfather cannot be forgiven. Oh, uh-oh. Glove got taken off. Man just went Super Saiyan Quincy. Ooh. With the one wing? Sephiroth looking ass? I'm saying the same thing. It's dissolving. He's absorbing everything spiritually. Oh. That's insane. Oh my god. Ishi motherfucking duh. He looks gangster. We got Kuro Tsuchi. Looking like that. Oh, we blew off his left arm. Oh, hell no. This is our first Bankai we're seeing. What in the Attack on Titan motherfucking shit is going on? He doesn't know about the second release. I just learned about it too, buddy. He just doesn't care. He's just gonna sit in the in the poison gas. What in the hell? Oh my lord! Did I ever expect Ishida to have this crazy of a fight against Kurotsuchi? See Kurotsuchi's Bankai. Ishida, the ultimate Quincy? Boy got tojied. Oh my lord. What in the Orochimaru? And then he can just literally slime his way out of there. 
Oh, officially Ishida took this dub. If he didn't have the slime ace up his sleeve, Ishida wins that fight. It's at the cost of his own Quincy powers. Theoretically, he should lose them all, but Ishida won that. This is the downside. Oh, yeah, and the poison. We just sat in that. I wonder what Nemu's going to think. For the poison, in case you ever get caught up in his Bankai. He's a real one. Interesting. Did I think Ishida would be the captain? Absolutely not. Ishida is him. Sam, we aim from the aim from the body. Someone needs to free this girl from her shackles of, of Kurotsuchi. And I I appreciate you wanting to keep your captain alive and all that, but goddamn, girl. I don't know why. I get it though. He made you, you know. Like you're inherently as. Okay. Well, that episode was crazy. My man Ishida's going through it. There's got to be a way, just how like Ichigo lost his Soul Reaper powers, but Kisuke helped us get it back. There's got to be a way to get your Quincy powers back. We need you, buddy. Oh no. No. Who's no hesitation? Oh, do not do me like that. All right. These episodes, just like this entire session, just like the entirety of Bleach, were incredible. Uh, we got Ichigo training with Yoruichi to learn his own Bankai, the second release of the Zanpakuto. We got uh, to see Kurotsuchi's Bankai, which is insane. We got Ichigo demolishing it which is equally if not even crazierly insane and then he is on the verge of losing his quincy powers while uh what's his name kumamaru komamaru komamura pops up and bears no ill will but must end us and already pulls out his first release as shikai so that's gonna be insane <sighs> this i like i said Soul Society arc is the only arc that I've heard of be hyped up in Bleach, similar to I've heard, you know, obviously the Pain arc and Naruto, Marine Ford and One Piece, but I just was not expecting it this early in the show and was still not expecting it to be like this. Like, this is like a long arc in the best way that they still pacing, no breathers, go into next fight, next character, he gets stronger, he loses, next fight, next character, he gets like, it's like, Jesus. Oh, that was Tosin? I got my names mixed up. Komo Komamura is the basket boy. That was Tosin. Squad 9 guy. Got you, got you, got you. Um, shout out chat. Like I'm saying, I watch this live, guys. So come on over to Twitch. It's a great time. Um, it's still going to take me a while to get the names down. Between the names of every Zanpakuto, between the names of the different abilities between the Quincy and the um, Soul Reapers, between the areas we're in, like the Seiraitai and the Rukon. Like, there are so many names. So it's, I, thank you guys for being patient with me. I appreciate y'all. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed these episodes as much as I did. We now have our official new waifu of the show. Shout out my girl. New official waifu of the Dapper Squad Bleach Society. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed these. Leave a like on this video if you did. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Check out that Patreon, early access, full length. I appreciate y'all immensely. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Because you never know when Kurotsuchi is going to pull up and try to experiment on them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad.